Welcome to Real Time, Florida Sportsman. This week, we're heading to Fort Myers for some inshore fishing. It's time to find the shortest route to the hottest bite. We scan Florida Sportsman's regional forums for the best fishing reports, then travel to make real anglers our local guides. Give me some of that. Together, we let you in on secret spots and hometown moves. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's done for now. This week I team up with NFL player Corey Lynch and head to his home waters in southwest Florida to target the coveted inshore Grand Slam. Nice fish! I quickly learned that Corey Lynch's skills stretch well beyond the football field and he puts me on one of the most epic inshore days I've ever had. All coming up on Real Time Florida Sportsman. I headed to the southwest section of the Florida Sportsman Forum to meet up with this week's guest host, Corey Lynch, in his home waters of Fort Myers. We actually headed over to Captiva to stay at Tween Waters. Tween Waters is a great resort right on Captiva Island. This place is lushly landscaped, surrounded by water. To the east, we have Pine Island Sound, which is a big, diverse body of water known for its big snook, tail and redfish. And to the west, we have the Gulf of Mexico, which this time of the year is known for its migrating tarpon. Our morning started early with meeting this week's guest host, Corey Lynch, aka Core21E, on the southwest section of the Florida Sportsman Forum at the boat ramp. We loaded up and launched the Triton. The cool thing about Corey is not only is this guy an active Florida Sportsman Forum member, he happens to be an NFL football player. You know, he spent the last three years with Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a safety and currently plays for the San Diego Chargers as special teams. But I'm not over here because of his NFL stardom. Corey is on a crazy inshore bite that I just had to witness. It was our plan to head over the bridges while it was still dark and throw the cast nets. Now Corey was saying we really wanted to load these wells full of greenies and pilchards. So this is the prime time in southwest Florida to target these migrating tarpon going down the beaches. You know our plan was to get out while the wind was still down, head out the pass, run down the beach, and look for some rolling tarpon. Then after that we were going to head inshore and sight cast to snook. We headed out around Sanibel Lighthouse and conditions were a little rougher than we anticipated. We decided to head north and find some areas that were in the lee of the wind and set up to fish. All right, Corey, what do we got going on here? We uh, just ran north of uh, Blind Pass. Wind's kind of blowing a little hard, so we had to run around Naps Point all the way up north and uh, wind laid down a little bit. We're um, just set up here on the beach looking for fish? Yeah, we're pretty close to the beach, so uh, hopefully we'll see some rollers here in a little bit. Oh, we got some thread fins. Greenies, you call them too, right? Uh, call them yeah, I usually call, call it greenbacks, white bait, pilchards. All right. So we're just sitting out here pitching some thread fins to some rolling fish on circle hooks. You know, pretty basic. I have 50 pound rig, 60 pound fluorocarbon, 7 circle hook. You see a fish roll, you throw it right in front of them. Hope you get bit. Corey gets up on the bow of the boat. I think he just makes a short cast, maybe 10, 15 feet, just to stretch the line, check the drag, you know, pull some line off, check the rods. It's the first time he used my rod. And the next thing you know, the tarpon's airborne. Nice fish! Beautiful fish! Great job! I guess you had one, huh? <laughs> you guess you had a bite? <laughs> Strong work! Sweet, man. That didn't take you long. No, it was the first cast of the day. Is that bad <laughs> luck? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Good fish. Coming back at us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> Man, we got to slow it down. Did you see those bows? This NFL football player knows how to fish. We just broke the camera out, got mic'd up, and it didn't take but a minute. We're hooked up. Fort Myers. Battled the wind all the way up here. I I was That's a good fish, too. That's sweet, huh? I'm glad I brought gloves. No. That was, uh, that was just my first cast to get my bait, or my line unraveled. Yeah. That never happens to me. <laughs> good living, brother. Good living. We had some wind coming from, where was it coming from, the east? Yeah, but you were able to get out of it. Like you were saying and then the shape of this land? Yeah, and then the shape, the shape of Sanibel is cool because it, it runs south and then it, or it runs east and west and then it runs 
north and south, so you can kind of get in the lee of the wind and Regardless be able to see direction. be able to see the fish because those waves back there are pretty gnarly. You're commenting on uh, how you missed your workout this morning. What do you think? <laughs> this is just as good to tell your trainer. Yeah, I'll tell my trainer I, I'm building up my right bicep today. <laughs> <laughs> just working on some some squats and right bicep curls and whatever this is. <laughs> I mean, we're actually right out in front of where Kevin and I stayed last night. Yeah. Clean water's right here. We should just fish from the beach. <laughs> That's what I told you. He is working me, man. I'm trying to work out my left bicep now, so I'm not disproportioned. Here's the leader. It's a pretty fish. How's George's photography, Kevin? We're gonna find out. <laughs> it's not Kevin's. There you go, there you go. <laughs> clicking them out. I'm gonna waste some card here, brother. You're clicking up, you'll just make it into a movie. <laughs> Corey, you ever take any of your teammates out? Yeah, we, we have one of my teammates is a pretty good fisherman, so we'll take some guys out. You ever take them out here and humble them, thinking they're all uh, big bad boys? And no, uh, not yet. We uh, you're getting humbled right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a professional at this. <laughs> I heard you're a little competitive. A little bit. I played. I played some sports before. I could tell from this morning just throwing the net you were competitive. No, 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 I got it. No, no, you don't need your net. Well, see, I was trying to treat my company right. He don't make companies throw nets. So it's maybe 30, 40 minutes into the fight, and Corey does a great job of getting his fish boat side. But now it's my turn to do my part. Grab him, George. Oh, there he went. There he goes. You got him? Grab him. <laughs> they know grabbing that bad boy. <laughs> what a great oh, job, sweet, man. man. That was awesome, awesome fish. That was so cool. That hook came out right at that last minute we right got that leader release. That's all right. Oh, what a great fight. Sweet, man. Good job, man. So we hang out a little bit longer. We're still seeing some fish rolling around. You know, we probably could have got some more bites. But all I can think in my head is these stories that Corey's telling me about sight casting of these big snook. So we decide to make the move. This segment is brought to you by SpiderWire. Nothing gets away. SpiderWire UltraCast, the strongest, thinnest, most sensitive line for the most aggressive anglers. Made with Dyneema, the world's strongest fibers. Enhanced casting and special color lock technology won't fade or rub off. Teflon pressure treated to shoot through your guides like a bullet. Its unique microfiber construction won't cut guides and resist digging in on reels. Wide range of sizes up to 250 pounds and multiple colors. Look for it at your local tackle shop. Stopping here, what's this blind pass? Loading up on some more bait for snook fishing. I'm an East Coast guy, and I gotta tell you, these guys on the West Coast got it good when it comes to bait. Every time I come over here, it's no problem just loading these wells full of bait. Corey took us on a 30 minute boat ride up the Caloosahatchee River to his first snook spot. So this is a mangrove shoreline with a sandy bottom, nice clean water, high sun, perfect sight casting conditions. Corey says this is where the snook are. We got little uh, white baits on J-hooks, little 1 j J-hooks, white bait, 40 pounds a liter. Awesome white bait too. 15 pound braid, 4,000 size reel, make it happen. So we're making our way down the shoreline and I'm seeing some smaller snook. The next thing you know is I see three massive shadows, three big snook. I have the perfect angle and I make the perfect cast. Mm, we just ate it. Oh, we just ate it. Nice. He's going in. Get him out of there. Come on out, baby. Come on out. Oh, no, 
go in there. Don't go in there. That's a nice fish, man. Uh, oh you want to go slack and go get him? Yeah, I got to go get him. Let me just tell you, if you've never snook fish before, these fish know exactly where to go once they're hooked. Be it a mangrove, a dock, any kind of structure, they know where to head to break you off. You're underneath. He's gonna spook in a second. Yeah, he's gonna freak out. There he's going. Pretty fish. All right, you're in the clear. You down? There we go. Okay, that's All right, it. you got the power pole up? Now I'm around that piling right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is nuts for one fish. This is how snook fish fishing goes though, so often. All right guys, there's things you don't see at home. Mike's going on my head. This fish has got me in the mangroves good. And I know what I gotta do. I gotta get in the water with these oyster beds with flip flops on and chase after this fish. Nothing's in my pocket. <laughs> This turns into an insane battle. You know, I'm doing a 100 yard dash on oyster beds that are razor blades in and out of mangroves. This thing has got me zigzag everywhere. I'm throwing the rod in the water on one side of the tree, pulling it out on the other. It's a crazy battle. Oh, how much line, <laughs> how much line did you let out of there? <laughs> oh, your rod's gonna fly out of there with the snook on the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get that mic up. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Yeah, because nobody's stupid enough to get in the water. It's like razor blades down here. <laughs> uh, there he is, I see him. He's right up there. Jeez, he's still got energy. Nice fish, what do you want me to do, George? Net or what? <laughs> I want you to get the band-aids out. <laughs> hmm? That's what I'm talking about. Nice job, Who man. Who goes in the water after him? <laughs> Sight casted to him. Yep. He worked me down the bank 100 yards. I've got cuts all over me. My goodness. What a great fish. You got them big over here. They're big, man. I didn't think you guys could compete with the East Coast, but... We're trying. You know, we had that freeze a couple years ago. They're, They're coming, coming back. back. All right, Cor, take my rod, man. I'm done with that <laughs> thing. That thing needs to go back in the shop and be oiled. <laughs> Spend more time underwater oh, on that fight man. than inshore. You chased it through about 13 bushes. Oh, that's about as many cuts as I have on me. <laughs> that is nice quality fish, man. fish We right got to there. sight fish him, see him eat. I didn't think water. he was that big when he bit. No, I didn't either. There she goes. I have no idea how that line held. I honestly, I'm not just saying that. I have no idea. It was through, you <laughs> saw it. It was like around every possible limb it went around. That girl went through every single tree she could find to cut you off and didn't, didn't do it. This type of fight happens often when you're snook fishing. They love to wrap you around this structure. If you can get in the habit of just opening the bale, let this spider wire with the braid, abrasive resistance, let it do its job. Take the pressure off, go in, unwrap the fish, let them calm down. You can land these big fish on light tackle. Fishing means long runs over open, often rough water. Quietly approaching monster fish in the shallow. Trolling the depths with a frisky live bait for a trophy of a lifetime. The Triton LTS is a bay boat with a big water attitude. It's built to handle every facet of fishing, including the catching part. No other boat fishes, performs, and fuels your angling passion like a genuine Triton LTS. Fish hard, fish fast, fish far aboard a Triton LTS. See us today at your local Triton dealer or visit us at tritonboats.com. What a great snook fishery. You know, these were all good fish, sight casting. And when you can sight cast to a snook, it just adds another element to it. It makes it that much more special. You know, the structure that they were in made it a little difficult to get them out, but I tell you what, man, what a ball. So this is the Caloosahatchee River we're fishing? That's right, this is the, this is the mouth of the river, the beginning of the river. So this river will actually go up and then uh, dump into Okeechobee and then go out to where you are. 
So yeah, our South Fork you know, turns into the Oak Chippewa Waterway there, and mm -hmm. this is at your other end of it, the west end of it. Yeah, just separated by a few locks, but from here you can get to, you can get over there by boat. And the funny thing is, we do the same exact thing over there by us. You can sight cast That's cool. Fish. That's really cool. But oh, well, I got one on me. Oh, nice! He got it. Oh, get him out! Ah! Of there. <laughs> Dang! They're sitting there. There's a couple of them sitting in there. I think he got me on a tree branch. Nope, just came out. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> oh. Too much this time, too much. I already went for a swim. I didn't have it in me this time. Goodness. Nice. Look at that white bait. That's oh, jumbo white bait. That's an unbelievable bait right there. <laughs> you getting the crickets out of the way for me? <laughs> See ya. Good fish. Good job. Is that you or me? Oh, no. oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Can you get him out? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a bite! He's going for a second one. The fish is scaring out of there. That guy was a rocket ship. That was so neat. I felt him thump that. I was drifting right down the edge of that darkness. Can't catch fish without bait. Well, you might have credit, good credit, but I don't think it's that good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, I am pretty impressed with y'all's snook fishery. <laughs> it's coming back, man. It's coming back. It's a slot fish right there. 40 pound fluoro. Doesn't afford. A lot of head shaking. What's the length on them? 30 and a half. Sweet, man. Dude, that fish was a beast compared to the other fish. Long, kind of skinny, but long. Another pretty Fort Myers snook. Let's let this one go. Get in there, buddy. Get in that short. You know, it's pretty funny. You see these guys on television, these football players, and they're almost larger than life. But you know, meeting Corey Lynch, he's just a normal guy sharing a common interest of fishing. So you grew up right around here? Yeah, actually I grew up right uh, right behind those houses right there. Oh, uh, no. So no I, wonder you know the water pretty well. <laughs> I know the water pretty well around here. Probably every, no, no, every, every hole on the grass fly. Yeah. We, uh, me and my buddy used to have a little uh, 17 foot Carolina skiff we take out around here all day long, every day. It was fun. Oh, there you go. That's it, two thirds. Let's see. Three quarters of your way to the slam. <laughs> there we go. All you need now is your red. Let's see if and we you can get catch your uh, coveted inshore grand slam. We didn't want to beat up on Corey's snook spot too much, so we decided to make a move. If you spend a lot of time on the water fishing, your rod is your ultimate tool. Penn's Blue Water Carnage and Legion Inshore Rods are designed and balanced for optimum performance when paired with a 10 reel. These rods feature a composite graphite blank that includes a carbon shield built into the blank and guide wraps for enhanced performance. Carnage rods feature EVA torque grips that are contoured to fit the hand perfectly and prevent the rod from twisting while under a heavy load. Penn Legion Inshore Rods have grade A cork handles on lighter action rods and the heavy action rods have sculpted EVA handles. Both series feature Fuji stainless steel frame guides. If you seek a high performance, durable, affordable rod, Penn Carnage and Legion Inshore series should be your choice. Well, we just had a break, took some time, had some lunch, moved to the next spot. Where are we now? Uh, we went north. Um up towards uh, Upper Mat Lache, Lower Burnt Store. So we're basically around the Burnt Store bar, just fishing the bushes around, around here. Should be some snook and some redfish action. 
So this spot's similar to the last one. The only thing different though is the water quality. The water's a little dirtier. It doesn't afford us the ability to really sight cast to this fish. So we decided to utilize a chumming technique. Corey just takes handfuls of bait, throws it out along the mangroves, and you just look for the explosion. That really tells us where the fish are sitting. Nice fish. A little dink snug? Yeah. Man, the one I caught earlier would have ate this one. <laughs> You know, he's got some cool colors on his tails. Kind of real green. Look at that. Yellowy. Pretty stuck. George, when we we're fishing these shorelines, we want to have the tide real high, get the water up high. Fish like uh, sitting way in there. And when the water gets low around here, there's really not much, not much to be said about these spots. When they're high, they're pretty nice. We're right at the end of the uh, incoming? Yeah, we're right at the end of the incoming. So this Hopefully. is an ideal tide. Yeah, this is awesome right now. Nice. Is that your red? That's your red! Get that fish to the boat. <laughs> That's it. Inshore that Grand it, Slam, baby. Fort Myers. Look at that. You've caught them all. Red, snook, trout, and the tarpon. Snapper too? That's snapper. I don't know what that counts. One spot like that. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but that was fun to watch. So this spot was loaded with snook. Every bait that got through in was getting eaten by juvenile snook. I'm pulling away and you're pulling them out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Corey, I don't know how many more of these little snook we can catch. They are fun. We've caught just about everything today. Big snook. Big tarpon, Little some trout, res. You got your inshore grand slam. That's awesome, man. Probably one of the better days I've ever had a fishing. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank it's you for coming day, down to Fort Myers. Most people can probably count on one hand the number of times they had an inshore grand slam. You know, this is the coveted prize. This doesn't happen that often. You know, a lot of times you'll catch small tarpon, small snook. These were all quality fish that Corey caught. Big tarpon, big snook, quality redfish, good trout. This just does not happen every day. Coming over to Fort Myers, I knew that I was going to meet an NFL football player, but I had no idea I was going to meet such a great fisherman. Corey showed me the best of Fort Myers. His fishery was absolutely incredible. You know, it was his report that made me come down to the southwest section of the Florida Sportsman Forum, and I need your reports to continue, because I may fish with you next on Real Time, Florida Sportsman. You sissy. You call yourself a shark? You should be embarrassed of yourself. Dude, if you're not catching puffers, you're just not effectively fishing the bottom. <laughs> huh? Real time. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to hell. Power pole, a shallow water anchor, has revolutionized the way I fish. Once I locate a school of fish, at the touch of a button, I can swiftly stop my boat. Power pole silently deploys so you'll never spook the fish. Even in the toughest currents, I can count on my power pole securely holding me in place. It's completely changed the way I fish, and I can't imagine having a boat without a power pole. Swift, silent, and secure, nothing stops you like a power pole.